Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have another beautiful die set from Tonic Studios to share with you and this one is called the Delicate Floral Handbag Die Set and as you can see there are different combinations of the dies that you can use to make uh, different patterns on top of this beautiful handbag so we'll have a little look but first of all it says it contains 28 different dies in there so my guess is that you can use some of these for cards as well as bags because I've had a little look through and there's certainly some panels there and I always love to get my value for money out of the die sets. So if you haven't been here before don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and that way you'll see some more videos as they come along. I've got regular videos for Tonic Studios and I've got some other videos that come along during the week as well so I'd love to have you join me for those and don't forget please comment down below. I'm trying to grow my channel and that helps as well. It lets me know exactly what you're thinking of what I'm doing and what kind of things you like, but it also helps me to grow my channel too. And I really appreciate that, so thank you. Now, we'll move on to the die set. This is the outer die, which makes the actual handbag set itself. And I've got one cut out here. I've gone back to one of my favorite colors. This is ocean blue, and I've cut that out because that's going to be the base for my handbag. And as you can see, it is actually rather big. I'll just measure it here so you can see. This part from top to bottom uh, is 15 centimeters to this fold part here. And across the way here, it is just over 13 centimeters. Now, obviously that's taking in the handle, but the actual bag part itself then is 10 and a half centimeters this way. So that's quite a good size. Now I'll set that over and we'll just have a quick look through these and then I'll start making. So these are the decorative panels and you can see here you can have this just perfectly plain and use that with either plain card or paper that you want to go on top or you can use these other dies with it as well. I'll show you what I've done because I've already gone ahead and cut some out. I had some floral fusion paper from Trimcraft and I've had it for quite a while and I just had enough to do this and I thought it was gorgeous so uh, really really beautiful cranes I think those are on there. So I've cut this one out with this stitched background die here and that will just go on top there and I don't need to use the decorative panels on top of that because that's just beautiful as it is. But if you want to add a different pattern using plain card or whatever and not a pattern like this, you can use this one along with these other dies here. So you can use this part at the top um, that gives you this beautiful shape and you don't necessarily have to use the other one you can keep it plain at the bottom but what I've done is I have used this one at the bottom so I've used all three together obviously turned the other way around as the cutting dies putting the cutting edge towards the card and then you get this beautiful pattern here and you can use that on there and that is absolutely stunning in itself there's also a little bit that comes out of the centre there and you can add your die cut into that or you can cut it out. Now this piece actually comes out but I have used one of these little dies. I'm not too sure where the piece has gone. Oh there it is. So I have used this die into the centre of this piece and it actually removed this whole part here. So you can take that part out, set this down and put that back in and it gives you that beautiful border all around it. And those debossed dies are absolutely beautiful for using on mirror card like that. So I'm just going to set that aside, but I'll probably use that on something later. But at the moment, I just want to focus on my one with the patterned paper. So this is the side die, but I'm also thinking that this could make a lovely little bookmark and you would just take this tab off, or you could make a little pocket on its own with that one. That's something to keep in mind. And these have the beautiful decorative panels that match this as well. So I pop that back on there. Then you can see here that we have uh, this lovely panel. Now this actually makes a little uh, inside or a little insert for here. Uh, we'll cut it out. I've already cut it out here in plain and in patterned paper. And you'll be able to see how I'm going to use those. I've picked some, pa some patterned paper that matches along with this and that's going to go on the inside of this. And then you've got a rectangle, which is always very, very handy, not just for this, but for other things as well, for card making and whatnot. Now this little piece here, 
you can use on its own as it is. Now I've just used it with the same patterned paper as this one and that fits beautifully onto there but you can use these beautiful little pieces here on the shoulders or these ones to give yourself a decorative detail that will match in along with this pattern as well. So I think I'll just go ahead and start assembling this and show you because it's actually very very easy. Once you've got all your die cuts ready you're good to go. So I should have just said actually once you turn this over you will see on the other side the instructions and that will tell you right across here. It's actually, you can see there it's very easy there aren't very many instructions to it but it will tell you how many pieces of each different die cut that you need to cut out. So we need two of these and then you would put your decorative panels on top before you go any further so I'm assuming that you'll be decorating it and not just leaving it plain so you'll add either this piece or as I'm doing here we're going to add the lovely birds on. So I'll glue those on and then I've got two side panels as well. So that's this one. Now this is the piece that I was saying would make a lovely bookmark or a lovely tag as well. You would just really need to cut this piece off. Um, and then there's a decorative panel to put on top of that and I've kept the sides to match this one as well. Once I glue this on, which I will just speed the camera up a, bit, a little bit as I do that, once I glue this on and this on, I'm just going to uh, show you how you'll give this a little bit of a curve, like this, with your bone folder or with a ruler or whatever. Now you just want to make sure that you don't uh, actually make any creases in it, so you don't go too hard on it, just mould it a little bit. And you can do exactly the same with the two side panels and the little decorative pieces. This paper is quite firm. The paper that I'm using here, this um, Floral Fusion, this has a linen effect on it and it is actually quite um, thick. So I'll just be taking my time with that and making sure I don't make any creases in it. Now, I'll go ahead, glue all these pieces on, and then I'll be back to assemble it in a minute or two. I got a little mark on one of these so I had to cover the inside as well and I hadn't actually planned that but I had some paper there that matched. I see I've actually got this one not actually straight but it's it's fine I think. So let's go ahead and then assemble this. So I've got two of these rectangles. These are the large ones from this die and I'm going to use the one on the inside here to attach these pieces all together. So because this is textured card I want to have that facing upwards and then I'll put this on the back and that way we'll um, not see all the, the joins where this goes. So what we need to do is just have these like this. This is going to go on top of just where those folds are. So I've folded those over. I'll check those again as I attach them just to be sure everything's in the right place. And then these pieces can go in here. And I don't want to cover the insides of those, I just want that plain like that. So I'll go ahead and add all of the glue.
that's the basic bag actually assembled now and it's so easy just to, to close it up by taking the front and the back together like that and bringing the side up and it really just slips over there and that's it and then you can open and close it uh, you can add more decorative details and you can add little tabs and whatever onto it but isn't that just beautiful the way it is but there's an extra little feature with this so we have an inside bag a little compartment uh, a little insert or whatever you would call it and it's going to go in here in this part so I have got a little base now I, you can probably hopefully you can see there I'm folding this all with the the good side the textured side of my card facing upwards I have got two of these panels and they will go on here and here facing inwards as well because that's the piece you're going to see on the inside and then I have two of these little pieces and these will go on here now this little part this these are glue tabs they're not decorative detail like this so they are going to go on the outside and they will actually just give the curve around that so I'll glue that together uh, with the other one on the other side and all of these pieces have the textured side facing inwards then when I've got that done I can add these two decorative pieces on top they're exactly the same as these and that will cover all the little glue tabs There are also a few little decorative uh, dies that make little tags and things for this. So we've got this one and then there's a little heart or a normal tag shaped one here. But for this one I have cut out the background die twice. So I've cut this one out in the ocean blue and I've also cut it out in patterned paper and then used this one inside it because you have to use the two of those to get this. And then I can glue this on top and hang that from the front. And there's my little tag. Now I can attach that to the handle or just wherever and let it hang down on the front of the little bag like that. Now I was thinking there's loads of other ways that you could decorate this because as I say this patterned paper is absolutely gorgeous on it and obviously any colour that you have or any combination that you have might be even more beautiful than that or you could use this but just because this die was actually sitting beside me at the time this is the little uh, Wild About Zoo lion die set and this has a little tiger and a lion die inside and I was just checking this for size and could not make a really fantastic little party bag for a children's birthday party or something and you could have the plain paper on the back and then put a little lion or a little tiger and some leaves on the front of it and that would be really really cute and beautiful too but so so different from this one because this is a kind of elegant more grown-up uh, gift bag but it would be equally just as beautiful as a child's bag so I've enjoyed it I hope you have too thanks so much for um, watching and for joining me again so don't forget if you have enjoyed it give the video a big thumbs up down at the bottom there let me know what you're thinking in the comments and once again don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, keep watching as they come along. I will add my affiliate links down below as usual so for anything that I've used they will most likely all be affiliate links and I get a little commission from the sales from those but it doesn't cost you any more so I do appreciate everyone who uses those as well. Until next time, happy crafting, bye!